Hey family, I would like for y'all to check out the job that I've done. Being that I haven't done hair in a while, I've been doing hair for, or my own hair at least, for over, well nearly 30 years now. Usually with braids, extensions, locks. Well I've locked my own hair, it's been locked now for like over 10 years. But I didn't do hair professionally, um, just basically family, friends. But I want to see if I still got it. And I had told you guys that not that long ago, I lost another auntie of mine who's passed. And so to get out of that depression or to keep from slipping deep into depression, you know, I tapped into what I love to do, and that is create. And part of creating, with, you know, for me is um, doing hair. And I want to see if I still got it uh, doing braided extensions. So check it out. Okay, so let's gather the things that we're gonna use. We've got some Easy Braid Professional Petra Fiber Synthetic Hair for braiding. This is some really good hair. It has some elasticity and it doesn't tangle very easily. And we've got some Blue Magic Super Grow Scalp Conditioner for our hair, for moisturizing on the hair and scalp, and some African Pride Braid Sheen Spray for spraying on the braids after it's done, and some Soft Sheen Karsten Let's Jam Styling Conditioning Gel. And this is the brush comb for the edges. And I've got three combs that I'll be using for combing, parting, sectioning off the hair. And we have some scissors for cutting hair. And in this case, I keep my bobby pins, rubber bands, clips, etc., for holding and sectioning off the hair. And we got a garbage bin here. And let's open this pack of hair. Okay, it's already separated into bundles. So let me open up one of those bundles and I'm gonna split that section in half evenly. And then from that half, I'm gonna split that in half. And I'm gonna split in half again. And from each of those sections, I am going to make three sections, each section representing a braid that I will be adding to her natural hair, okay? These are going to be some small to medium sized box braids, so this is how thick the hair is gonna be, and I'm gonna lay it out on this chair, laying each of the sections out. Alright, so all of the sections for braiding I've laid out. Okay, now her hair, it has been washed, conditioned, blow dried, and I've added some Blue Magic Conditioner to her hair. And so it's moisturized and now I've sectioned it off. I've sectioned it off evenly on each side. Um, according to how I want the braids to lay. Okay, so let me take down one of those sections at the bottom left and I am going to be making rolls of braids. So let me section her hair off for the rolls. Let me make the first roll, bottom left, in the kitchen. Okay, so let me make a nice line, nice part. rubber band off the rest of the hair and pin it up so it's out of the way. And I'm going to be working with that bottom row. I'm going to put some braids or add some extended braids. So let me section off the hair how thick I want the braids to be. Okay, so you can see it here. Pin the rest over with the bobby band. Okay, so this is going to be for the braid. And what I do is I braid the natural hair underneath because I like to keep the hair as neat as possible. You don't have to do this, but this is what I do because I don't, I want to reduce the frizzies, okay? I don't want any hair outside of the braid, any frizzies, and so I add a little jam also, like to the end of the braid. And now I'm going to take one of the extended sections for braiding and I am going to braid this to her natural braid. Okay, I'm going to braid it in to her natural hair with the natural braid. 
infusing her natural hair with the synthetic hair and braiding it all together. You see how I'm doing this? I'm fusing it, okay? And I, I'm braiding close to the scalp, starting close at the scalp, braiding tight but not too tight because I have to consider her scalp and her roots and her hair. Okay, we don't want to damage the hair. Okay, or her scalp. All right, so we're going to be braiding downward, fusing that hair, the synthetic hair with her natural hair. We're going to be braiding downward, braiding tight, close, having the loops close to each other, but not overlapping, and braiding straight down. Let's speed it up. And I'm going to keep braiding down to the very end, keeping it in order. No overlapping, braiding down to the very end. I want to do her hair in a bob style. We're just going to braid down to the very end. I'm not even going to really cut it. Okay, just braiding it down until I can't braid anymore. So, you see we have the braid here. We're going to finish the rest of the row. Okay, adding braids to the rest of the row. Let's make another braid with the natural hair. Sections are going to be the same size. For each braid, all over. Okay. Okay, keep on braiding on down, all the way down to the end. If there's any hair sticking out, I'll just snip it with the scissors. Okay, and let's add a third braid. With the synthetic hair fused with her natural hair, braiding all the way down. got three braids for this bottom left row. Looks good. All right, so let's create another row. Okay. Sections on the same size for each braid. Create the natural braids as before. Okay. So four natural braids for this row, and let's now add the synthetic hair for braids. Okay. So that row is complete. The second row is complete. All right, and we're just going to keep doing rows of braids until that whole section is complete. So you see the section bottom left is complete. So now what we wanna do is the bottom right section. Okay, and we wanna match it up to the left side. So the same amount of rows on the left, we're gonna put on the right. And the same amount of rows, the same amount of braids on the right side to match the left side. Okay, making the first row on the right, bottom right. Three braids. And we've added the extensions. All right. Look how good the braid is. No overlapping. No frizzy. So we have three on the left side and three on the right side. Okay. And so do the next row. Matching the left side with the right side. And the next row. And the bottom right section is complete. And you see, pretty much matches up. So we've done the back of the hair. We just keep going up. Yeah, so it looks good. The sides are even. Okay, completing the next section. All right. And making the left side match with the right side. So both sides match. The left side, same amount of braids as on the right side. Okay.
So I am done with the back of the hair. So now I'm doing the sections on the side. Let's see how many braids for each row. Making rolls on the side. Keep making rolls. All right, and the right side is going to match the left side with the same amount of rolls, the same amount of braids. Okay, and now I'm going to do a little technique that I've learned from another YouTuber. Okay, after like braiding like eight loops down, I'm going to pull out a section. I'm going to, you know, kind of pluck out. A section of hair like after going down like about eight loops and you see I'm kind of plucking out some of the hair they call this the jungle braid I guess because it looks like a jungle vine you see how I'm plucking out a little section of the hair after like eight loops down or eight twists down Not as easy as it looks, because <laughs> you gotta hold the rest of the hair. It's kind of difficult, but it's cute. But I'm only doing this to two of the braids in front. So you see, I've completed her hair, sprayed it with some oil sheen spray. You see the little jungle vines, as they call it. <laughs> okay, gathered her hair on top in a ponytail. They have a little fountain on top. You see the little, little vines in front. <laughs> yeah, so we've completed our hair. It looks pretty good. Well, I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> yes. My glam baby's ready for the summer. <laughs> She's happy. 